Hello everyone, it's lovely to be with you again. I think it's a while since we had a quiz and you know I like them, I hope you like them too, so I thought we would have one today. It's a Who Am I quiz. I'm going to tell you three things about someone and you see if you can guess who I'm talking about from the three different questions. If you guess on the first question, you get three points. And if you guess on the second question, you get two points. And if you guess on the final question, you get one point. Are you ready? Let's see how we go. Oh, and I should tell you that they might be a real person or they might be someone from a film or a book or something like that. Okay, let's begin. The first person. I help my friends when they are in trouble. Mm, three points if you guess on this one. I am a space ranger hero. Two points if you guess on this one. My favourite phrase is to infinity and beyond. One point if that's the first time you get it. And who am I? The answer is, of course, Buzz Lightyear. I bet lots of you got that one. Should we do one more? Okay, let's do one. So... Here's the first question, or the first statement. I made videos to encourage people to keep moving. I have a TV show called Boogie Babies. Two points if you get it on that one. I won Strictly Come Dancing twice in a row. One point if you get it on that one. Who am I? The answer is, of course, Oti Mabuse. I hope you enjoyed that. I wonder how you got on. Maybe you can make your own Who Am I quiz. A little while ago, some adults were asked in a survey, they were asked lots of different questions, which famous people they thought set the best example for children. Top of the list was Richard Branson. I wonder if you have heard of him. He's a business person and he has lots of companies, including an airline, and he's also trying to launch space travel. He was number one, top of the list. David Attenborough was number seven and Greta Thunberg was number 13. I wonder who you think sets a good example. I wonder if your list will be full of famous people we've heard about or if you might be able to think of people you know, people who change the world every day with small acts of kindness or by being unselfish or by keeping going in difficult circumstances. That's not to say that the famous people on the list don't do that, but sometimes we only think of famous people as being people we should follow because they change or they try to change the world for the better. Sometimes people start as ordinary people going about their everyday lives and then something happens to change all that. Rosa Parks was one of those people. Way back in 1955, she couldn't give up her seat on a bus after a hard day's work and became an inspiration to the world uh, as it became an important moment in the civil rights movement in America and around the world. Before we'd heard of Malala Yousafzai, she was someone who continued going to school and speaking out about the importance of education for girls, even though it was dangerous. And in fact, when she was 15, an attempt was made on her life. After Malala recovered, she set up the Malala Fund to ensure free, safe and quality education for every girl. I heard Malala interviewed on the radio recently, and she said, Sometimes things like kindness and generosity are taken for granted. She said that small things like just being kind, smiling at someone are not really recognised, but she said they can have a real impact. That small things like that can actually bring joy and happiness into your life, our lives and the lives of others. And all this made me think about ordinary people I know who I think are changing the world. Perhaps they're not so ordinary, but they're certainly not famous. I think about my friend, especially this past year, who works in hospital and all that she's done and all that she's been through. 
Think about my sister, who's a teacher, who's kept going. I think about some people I know who volunteer to make food for homeless people and take it out onto the streets. Think about the person on my street who puts the bins out and takes them back in for elderly neighbours on bin collection day. And I think about my friends Fred and Harriet in Uganda who started a primary school in their village and now there's a secondary school, a hostel, a farm, all kinds of things. Fred and Harriet are ordinary people trying to follow Jesus' example because for Christians, it's his example we try and follow. And for Fred and Harriet, this has led to extraordinary things. But actually, I believe God can and does use each of us wherever we are to change the world. It might be by sharing a smile like Malala talked about. It might be by doing something no matter how small that makes a difference to the environment. It might be by trying to treat people the way Jesus treated people, with love, with care, with compassion, with understanding and acceptance. There are some words in the Bible where it talks about trying to help others, to use only helpful words, not harmful ones, to be kind and tender-hearted to one another and to forgive each other. And that's not an easy thing. Most of us don't manage it all the time, do we? But we can keep on trying. We never know how the small, the thing that seems really ordinary, might be changing the world for someone around us. You might have heard me say that before, but that's because I think it's true, so I will keep saying it. I'm pretty sure that each of you is a world changer already in some way. Remember, it's not always about the things that everyone gets to know about, but the things we get on with doing every day. And I wonder what that looks like for you. I want to say a prayer now, and I know some of you will join in by thinking about the words I say and that others will be sitting quietly thinking about the things we've talked about. So let's pray together. Dear God, thank you that we can see in the example of Jesus how to live our lives. Thank you that each of us has a special place in the world. Help us to see small and sometimes bigger ways too in which we can make a difference and help to change the world. Amen. As always, it's been a real pleasure to be with you today and I look forward to being with you again soon. But until then, goodbye.